over four different live good affiliates messaged me and I said no to all of them. There's a bunch of reasons why I'm gonna go through right now and I'm gonna cover their compensation plan, their sales pages and everything they're doing that in my opinion might just make live good the worst MLM and affiliate program to ever be created. Now I don't want to be sued or have any issues so this video is full of my opinions from my experience in affiliate marketing and as a growth consultant and you are to only use these opinions if you desire. Otherwise, this is just my own opinions. Do not take anything I say as fact. Now, over the years, I have promoted dozens, if not possibly hundreds of addition affiliate programs, some MLMs. I promote a variety of different things, products, services, deals, consulting, coaching, agencies, online. And throughout all of this years of experience, and yes, I've generated millions of dollars online in sales. Throughout this experience, there are great things that launch and there are horrible things that launch. And before I actually jump into telling you about live good, I actually want to walk you through exactly what makes something bad or not good to promote or be a part of or just be even involved with. One, any affiliate program of any kind, whether it's multi-level or single level, you name it, has to actually reward affiliates at all levels. It has to be incentivizing and solid. Number two, you have to watch out for the claims and the things the company says because those things can get a company shut down permanently. Just take a look at this. In fact, you can earn up to $2,000 per month without ever enrolling a single person. But then it says, but if you decide to share our product and services with then you can earn even more. So it's claiming you can make money without doing anything, which is not true. It is a Ponzi scheme or a pyramid scheme. And as then it goes down through the rest of this compensation plan here. It then walks you through how to make money by enrolling people. Hmm, a little fishy. And thirdly and finally, the best way to know if you should join something, become a part of something, is if people actually talk about and use the products. Now, I'm sure people do use live good products and services. I'm not denying that. But every person promoting it, all they talk about is the compensation plan. And it's not very good. Which leads me to fourthly, if the compensation plan is very confusing and it makes literally no sense because there's five or six or seven different parts of it, there's a reason for that. It's because they're disguising how much money you actually don't make. And one more thing I want to cover before I go more in depth at LiftGood is you also want to see and take a look at the quality of the marketing material and the program itself and what it actually looks like. Just take a look at this. This is the page that almost every affiliate has used to promote LiftGood. You can't even see the text at the top of the screen. These people are here aren't even on the screen fully. They should be about right there. And this is it. This this is it. This is all it is. Just this. And it doesn't even have this loaded. And there's two different backgrounds. Hmm. This isn't even centered. Hmm. These are some of the things that I found after taking a look at LiveGood after I had multiple people promoting it, which is fine. You can promote, become a part of it, do whatever you want. That's completely up to you. This is the kind of things I've been finding after I researched it, wanted to learn more about it, after I was invited to become a part of it by many, 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 many people. Now, if you take a look at their website, it's all about the product, 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 product. And the reason why it is on the outside, I believe, is because they want to appeal to the FTC and so on and so forth so they don't get shut down. Because it's strange because everything else, they only have the, the, the actual uh, payment plan up here. But they have it if you look it up. But you can't look at the payment plan, the matrix, or any of that. And you notice there's no language here about making money. But yeah, that's how they recruit everyone. It's how all their affiliates recruit everyone. It's not based on products. Taking a look at their products page, um, what is this? Why, this isn't even cut off right. Either they don't have good talent or graphic designers or they're too lazy. I don't know, this to me looks, I, I design better work than this and I'm not the entire company of LiveGood. Oh. And if I just take a look here, if I go to our mission, this image is the same image. Our mission, product. The products, 
image is the exact same one used right here. I'm surprised our team doesn't have an image of the products. Now, after reviewing all of their copy they have public versus the messaging you receive from every single affiliate and the company when you're not on their public page, um, it's not good. And some of the claims they have, this is the most important thing if you're considering becoming a part of Live Good or anything like this, you have to be very careful because guess what? Saying you can make money without doing anything, which from what I've seen, there's possibly a few claims of that, uh, is illegal and wrong. I just saw this and it's even worse. Um, every single image that scrolls across their homepage is the exact same image. The reason why it's concerning and I'm detailing these different things because that's usually what a what I would qualify as a not real company does. They put up a bunch of good marketing materials or decent marketing materials that pass when people don't actually pay attention to them and then they get really big and A, they get shut down by the FTC, B, they sell off, C, they take all the money from their, comp their uh, customers and their people and their affiliates or something happens, something bad happens. Now, I'm not saying this is the case, but look, this image right here, if I scroll to the right, is the exact same image on every single page just put on a different random stock they don't even have people who actually have live good merch on or who actually have the pro look how photoshop go oh, let me let me go back look how photoshop that is they don't even have a picture of someone who's actually using a product their product on their company website in fact this image right here, I believe, is a Shuttershock stolen image because you can see right, right, uh, if I can get it right here, see right here, right there, if I go back to it, this right here, that's like a tag or a thing photographers put over their images so they're not used elsewhere. So maybe I'm wrong, but from what I can see, A, the company doesn't actually bring the products to people or have pictures of people actually using the products they have the exact same image for everything and then as well they're not even using possibly even images for their marketing that is illegally allowed because they haven't even bought the rights to the image they're using let me go back to that one right it keeps scrolling away but look what is that that's supposed to be there no that means usually that's a that's a stolen image that you have to pay for that you didn't pay for because you didn't get the watermark removed all of this goes to show me, in my opinion, do not take this as fact, anything I've said in this entire video is fact. In my opinion, it's a very unprofessional, not good company. Because they don't even have pictures, they sell physical products. It's different if you sell digital products. Out of their physical products, they don't have a single, even real picture of someone from their company in their pictures. There's also, if I look on their site, there's a zero zero testimonials and they do have merch so they have merch there but uh with their merch they didn't think to have a single person with a picture of them wearing the merch um but anyways looking back at the site they don't have a single testimonial anywhere no reviews no other actual social proof that even shows that it's a real company even though yes i know they are a real company and actually the founders and people behind live good I think they're good people I'm not arguing that I'm not arguing I think their affiliates are good people but the problem is one when you have claimed that you can make money by doing nothing or by selling nothing or not enrolling anyone when that's all your company is about it's a little disingenuous B when you don't even have a professionally made site and you have a single image you use across every single page and all of your marketing materials. Three, the only way you are promoted, even though all you show is product, the only way you are promoted is about the money of the business and it's solely based on recruitment. Number four, when there's no actual social proof, people having pictures of them wearing the product and they have an image on the site that I'm pretty sure has a watermark, which actually is illegal to use if it's not your image, you didn't pay for it. All of these things start to point to I personally don't believe Live Good is 
a good MLM or affiliate marketing opportunity to become a part of. That is my opinion. Now, I'm sure they have good products and maybe they're trying to build an actual company. There's just a lot of issues I'm seeing that are not kosher or not okay that I would never promote this company under any circumstances. So please do not approach me and try to get me to sell for you because I've been approached by many people all with the same messaging that does not make sense. And also again, a lot of the copy I've seen and videos I've seen on LiveGood, um, you gotta change your language because it's illegal and it's actually ethically wrong to claim you can t make tons of money while doing nothing. That's what gets companies shut down by the FTC and uh, by the government. And also the compensation plan literally makes no sense whatsoever. That's always a bad sign because it, it is straight garbage. Also, from what I know, affiliates, there's a there's a big, you get like a decent size amount of commissions off of initial, like if you bring in like many people at once, but if you don't, or you have any stagnant period, the months after, you make really not good commission percentages. Again, I, I can't literally make sense of the commission plan, and I've done affiliate marketing, and I've done a couple MLMs for a, uh, my entire business career, and this literally makes it, it's Google good that big that gobbledygook. Oh, and again, their uh, their own website and their marketing material doesn't even work. It functionally doesn't make sense. They don't even center stuff. They don't even have the same backgrounds and images, and they use the same images across every page on their site. Hmm, real company? I don't know. It's up to you to decide. Now, just for transparency, and just to show you there are better MLMs and there are better examples of how you can do this right and be honest and more transparent, I'm gonna show you another website. And actually, I'm an affiliate for this because guess what? One, I know the founder of it. Two, because the compensation plan's actually really good and it's very straightforward. Three, they have actual pictures of people using their products. Four, they don't just talk about making money. It's a part of what their messaging is in the marketing. They also focus on the product. So this is a company called Got Backup, made by Joel Terry. And let's just take a look at this page that looks very similar to LiveGood's page right here. Okay, one, the, the elements of the page aren't even centered. You can't even see what half of the text up here even says. Got Backup. Oh, look at the... Look at the language. Look at the imagery. It's all clear. You can see all the text. And they talk about, A, yes, making money online with it. They also talk about protect your data and memories. So it's by, this is a company page that talks about the money and also the product itself. Now, I'm not wanting to be one of those people who like does a review, a bad review, and then brings people to a different product. Like, oh, this thing's better. Now, I, I, I see I'm kind of doing that, yes, but I'm also genuinely pointing out something that is very close to what LiveGood is doing, but with a digital product, and their look and their design alone, and their messaging alone, and their conversation plan alone, are all much, much better and not as freaking confusing. And there's more transparency and the text you can actually read. Isn't that crazy? And they don't use the same exact image for every single part of their outside look and appearance. So again, this video was just a, and by the way, there will be a link to Got Backup, which I believe is a much better current new MLM slash affiliate marketing opportunity. Um, in the description or somewhere around this video. But the purpose of this, me doing this video is to not actually hate on LiveGood, but to actually point out things that could be improved, that should be improved, that need to be fixed, because the claims, the income claims and stuff like that are huge. Not being clear, not having a, a very easy to understand compensation plan, and not having marketing material that actually looks professional, like that someone from India that's getting paid $5 an hour could do, um, that's not okay. We are in 2023. If you're online and digital marketing stuff for any business, MLM, affiliate marketing, you name it, anything isn't up to par, you are doing a disservice, and if it's not transparent and honest, you're doing a disservice to your customers, you're doing a disservice to the market, you're doing a disservice to yourself. So I wish the best for everyone watching this video. 
I just personally get the heebie-jeebies and don't see transparency with LiveGood. That's my professional, honest, personal opinion. Take it however you desire, however you want to take it. I'm not hating on it, it's just they need to fix a lot of stuff. Um, and I actually wish I could help them with that stuff, but often companies like that don't really take uh, your opinions. Even if you have really good experience, it's just, it's, it's weird. Um, and that, that, for example, at that page, that sales page that isn't fixed, on the headline you can't even read, um, that's been like that for at least a few weeks. No one's fixed it. They don't seem to care. The image is used across every single page on their website. They're using a picture that has a watermark on it. Take it how you will and have an absolutely amazing day.